um, I'll first uh, access the both firewall the FTDPR and secondary and similarly I'll show you how to configure EHA from you by using the FMC so for this uh, this is the PC we are trying to uh, access so I'll use external uh, console for this one that is uh, VMware remote console so I'll first uh, check the status of both FTD device so its IP is uh, 10 sorry okay mm, this one is 2 this is the primary device uh, firewall okay add me Similarly, the other one is three. Okay, so this is the uh, first firewall that is the FTD PR primary one. I'll be using this firewall as an primary. So it's network interface you can see here. So it's uh, sorry the management interface is 10 10 10 2 slash 24. So similarly while configuring the the virtual firewall, so you will be uh, granted for a 90 days evaluation license. So you can also choose the tier itself. So I'll show you how to do this one. So uh, for tier performance so you can use performance tire as as per your uh, pm capability so i've just chosen this as an uh, four core and eight gb so you can choose uh, four core uh, sorry the eight core and 16 gb simultaneously if you have more resources so and this one okay so i'll show you the network interfaces so currently i have one configure anything by default it is taking this IP so after the initial network configuration I've spent I've left some of the pending deployment so I'll first deploy this one so there is no thing more changes yet so I've just uh, configured the management okay so I'll deploy this and similarly in okay the deployment job is in progress so okay and similarly in uh, the secondary uh, firewall so same tire has been chosen and this is the management interface 10 10 10 3 so i'll just deploy pending configuration okay so until then i'll show you the man, uh, management center so its ip is 10 10 10 5 and okay this is the uh, UI of uh, Firewall Management Center. So, so later on we'll be adding the devices uh, uh, from this device management tab. So in this session, I'll be only explaining about the EHA cluster. How can we achieve the cluster in this in this firewall? So okay. So so for first uh, in first firewall. We need to configure the manager which uh, will be adding to uh, the firewall management center so we need to provide some registration key and we need to uh, allow the management ip in the both firewall primary and secondary firewall so we need to do this uh, from the console itself so i'll do this one first okay so this is the fi primary firewall so so i'll just uh, put uh, configure 
manager sorry uh, configure okay configure this one is the uh, primary firewall configure manager add so the ip of management uh, firewall management center is 10, 10, 10 5. so i need to uh, choose the ip as 10 10 10 5 and we need to provide some uh, alphanumeric uh, character for the registration key uh, okay so for now i'll just choose as firewall at the rate one two three okay uh, sorry firepower in the parameters okay only five may firepower uh, uh, i am just uh, taking as firepower so you'll be prompt for yes or no so you'll do just yes so okay this one is for the primary one so and similarly i need to do the same step in the secondary firewall too okay the configure manager add 10 10 10 5 and firepower as the alphanumeric character okay same okay let's verify in primary one so it's taking a time so let's wait for a minute okay so you can verify here so management uh, manager has been successfully configured so let's verify in the secondary firewall too okay this one okay please make a note okay manager successfully configured so we can now move on to the fmc so this is the fmc so i'll first add the devices and we'll go uh, through the yache configuration simultaneously so for this one we have ip 10 10 10 2 as an primary device so i'll just keep this one as uh, ftd sorry ftd er and the registration key will be fire power okay so i'll just put it on notepad so and this one as firepower and i haven't created any group uh, until now so we'll be doing this uh, later on so access control policy so we need to define a access control policy here so let's create this one so uh, yeah uh, FTD policy okay this is for just the demo purpose so I'll just skip this one mm, I won't uh, configure any best policy here so uh, initially I'll uh, just uh, allow the default action as uh, block all traffic so okay so if, So, okay this has been confused so uh, initially i i have just talked about this tier tier uh, performance so i'll be just choosing this one as four core and eight gb so this will be fine and i'll not uh, include this one currently so register let's do this one so we need to repeat the same step for the secondary one also so we'll verify the status for both firewalls. Okay, so you can see here the devices has been successfully added. So similarly, uh, we need to follow the same step for the secondary one. So let's do for the secondary one so i'll just add it and devices and the ip is 
ten 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 the three and its name will be the two D secondary. Okay, oh, sorry. I'll just verify once. Okay. Uh okay, add devices and ten 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 three and its name would be FTDs and its registration key is the same one this one okay and group, group will be the known itself and the FTD policy just we played it before and the tire is 4 core and 8 zip okay register So it will take a uh, uh, bit. Uh, so I'll just uh, pause the video and I'll continue with the uh, after the deployment. Okay, so the devices has been added to the primary one. Okay, the status is green. Yes, so similarly, uh, the secondary device will be added soon. Okay, you can verify here. So, uh, FTD secondary has been also added here. So it will just take few few more minutes. So until then, let's take this one. Okay, this one, okay, and similarly this one. Fine, uh, so I forgot to mention that uh, the licenses and the tires should match with each other between these two firewalls. So you know, if it doesn't match, uh, so HA configuration will be uh, not successful. Uh, so we need to match everything in both firewalls okay so let's verify this one so okay register register registering process is on so and in this file also the everything is normal right now so normal so there is no any warning or error so let's wait for a few minutes So okay, the device has been added. The secondary device has been also added. So the default access control policy was FTD policy. So similarly, uh, the secondary uh, firewall will also detect the same policy. Here. So let's wait for a few min few minutes. So and after this one, we'll be configuring the uh, the edge cluster between these firewalls. So there is some deployment pending. Here, so let's wait for a few minutes. So, okay, I think it's working now. So, there is some pending tasks on the FTD secondary. Okay, so we can also verify from the deployment history. So this one is the secondary one this one is the primary so there is some status pending so okay i think it is now completed so okay device management There is still some deployment pending. So until then, I'll just uh, make a group for these two devices. So 
so I'll just put it as uh, FTD data center or something so okay this is the device and this one is the secondary one so I'll group it so okay so okay so it is named as FTD DC there is two devices so we can group it uh, as per our requirement so industry this one is completed this one is also completed okay device management both of the firewall has been added to the fmc so for further let's say configuration part please visit to the uh, below link so thank you for your time